Hello and welcome back to our channel. This is The Building Consultant, a channel that seeks to educate, challenge and inspire you on your journey of construction. I'm your host, Sam Wanyoike, talking about a very sensitive topic that has been in the lips of many Kenyans as far as building construction is concerned. And this is about why are buildings falling? What is causing buildings to fall in Kenya? And why has this been on the rise? People are asking and people are wondering. Most of the blame is being squarely placed on the authorities, but I believe this is more than the authorities. It involves you, it involves me as citizens of this country. Building construction has been, is an industry that has been on the rise and especially over the last decade, many houses have been coming up. World Bank states that there is still a shortage and a deficit of housing in Kenya. And so many developers have capitalized on that deficit and some of them are hastily coming up with buildings in order to make returns as quick as possible some of which has had effect in terms of the quality of work that is being put in. Some buildings have ended up falling, others have developed issues that require to be rectified. In the year 2022 alone, there have been more than 10 buildings that have fallen and these have occurred mostly in the Nairobi and Kiambu regions alone. For instance, there is a seven-story building that fell towards the end of last year in Kasarani, an eight-story building that fell in Embakasi. There are two cases of uh, five-story buildings that fell in Kino, that is in Kuyu constituency, Kiambu, that actually fell within, a, the both buildings fell within a span of around three months apart. We saw a two-story building that fell in Ruiru, a three-story building that fell in Kitengela, and a six-story building that fell in Ruaka. There is also a case whereby a building was marked for demolition. The tenants were forced to vacate and before the building was demolished, the building fell in a just a few days after the people had just vacated. That tells you that the situation is dire and it is very serious. But the question begs, why are these buildings falling? Who is to blame? What is wrong? with our construction? Is it the problem with engineers? Is it the problem of the authorities? Is it the problem of developers? Well, the main reason behind this is there is negligence at some point by someone. Some of the possible reasons why some of these buildings or why these buildings have fallen. Number one is a failure by the developer to follow the right procedure. Most of the buildings that, that I've just mentioned a good number of them, it was noted that they didn't have the necessary approvals. Some of them, the engineers were not fully involved in the project. And so that led to not following the procedure, the right procedure of construction and problems are able to arise. So when one is building a house, kindly follow the right procedure in order to ensure that the building is still stable and it is safe for use. Because remember, you're not only building for yourself, especially for tall buildings, the flats, you are building for people who will be occupying that place. So follow the right procedure, get the necessary approval from the authorities, get the right team, the right professionals doing the right work. A second reason, as, as I mentioned, is not getting the right professionals. Yes, you can. it is possible for you to get an architect or an engineer who is not fully qualified or people whom we call quacks. It's very important for you to know the right engineer or the right architect uh, or qualified one by checking on the website 
the website of the bodies that regulate the architects, the body that regulates the architect, that is the, the engineers and the architects, that is Borax for the architects and the Engineers Board of Kenya for the engineers. And you can be able to check whether the, the architect or the engineer you intend to use is listed among the professional engineer or architect in Kenya. The other reason why buildings will be failing is because of use of substandard materials. I've kept on mentioning that some materials that are being used in Kenya do not meet the necessary requirement. So use the right material for your construction. A building is a serious entity that would involve lives of people. So use the right material, get from the right suppliers, do not be so much driven towards shortcuts. It's very important, it's good to save, but also ask yourself, whenever you're taking shortcuts, what is being cut short? Another thing that is coming out strongly that has affected most buildings, and this is why buildings are failing, and this is a call to each and every one of us, check the ground, check the ground. This is especially in regions that are in red soils, please do check the ground. Let a geotechnical report be provided. There is a geotechnical assessment that checks the ground conditions and that helps in design and be able to know the existing conditions underground. So the foundation is very important because everything of that building falls on the ground, on the, onto the ground. So Take your time as you are doing the foundation, let everything be done right, let all the necessary preparation be done and do it properly. Also, the pillars or the columns that support the house as well as the walling should be done properly with the right kind of mixing of materials. We will be talking about how to provide or how to do a good concrete in another episode. But for today, those are some of the reasons why buildings are failing. Of course, there are many others and we would, we would talk about them in other episodes. And please do check, be careful, be vigilant and get the construction done in the right way. Thank you very much for tuning in. Kindly subscribe and click the like button to receive more of our videos. For today, thank you and have a wonderful time.